Hello, my name is Paul Priestley. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Paul Priestley Art. Now today we're going to be doing another video where we're using just one pencil, a nice sharp one like this one, and we're going to be using shading, but no outlines. Yes, imagine that, shading, but no outlines at all. Come on, let's make a start. Right, we're going to start with a 2B pencil. Now make sure that it's very sharp and we're going to hold the pencil this time slightly differently. See how I was holding it between two fingers and a thumb? And we're going to use the side of the pencil to do the shading. Now, just to start with, we're going to try out a little bit at the top here. You see you're starting pressing on very lightly and then pressing on harder and harder and harder so you can get that range of tone. You need to practice this so you can establish what you're doing. Okay, we're going to start by sketching some rocks. Now, rather than drawing an outline around this, what we're going to do is to sketch the basic shape as one flat shape just by using shading. So if you're observing something, if you've got a bunch of rocks in front of you, you're going to just suggest the shape of them with basic tones as I've done here you see so this is my first rock in the background as you can see here and I've just established the basic shape of it now I'm going to start building up tones now these tones represent surfaces on the rock so I can vary the angle of the tone as I press on I can create dark tones I can leave lighter areas for the surfaces of the rock that are well, that the sun might be shining on, something of that sort. Do you see the idea? So we're basically building it up layer by layer. Now, at the moment, it just looks like a series of sh shadings. But you can see I'm gradually creating shapes and edges in this. And gradually, I will go over and add more and more tone, varying the tone, making it darker. These would be the strong shadows and so on. So layer upon layer is what builds up the shape and tone of the rock. This is what you're looking at. So when you're looking at the drawing, when you're looking at the object in front of you, you are looking for shapes. Forget it's a rock, doesn't matter what it is. It could be a bunch of flowers, it could be anything you like. You're looking for the shapes and you're establishing the shapes in terms of tone. This is what I'm doing here, you see. Gradually it's building up. And you'll notice as we're doing this, the whole thing begins to create a certain structure and form to it. You can see here how the rock has got various tones and shapes to it now and it's beginning to develop into something. So when you are drawing, this is a method you could use for sketching. It's a method that you could use to develop um, the basic shapes of a drawing. And then you might add what I did in my in the first version of the this series where we were talking about drawing with lines. You could add line on top to add a little bit more detail. So these are just these drawing techniques I'm covering here are basically just to give you an idea of methods that you can adopt. You don't necessarily need to do the whole drawing using this particular method, but you could use this method and add line to it. Do you see? So you can make your drawing that much more unique. I'm just showing you elements of what you can do. Now, you'll notice here I'm starting on another rock, following the same sort of pattern. I'm beginning to establish some edges as you've noticed above there, and I'm going to do the same again. I'm developing the drawing. You see, you see how the the shading's been done at angles, and it's most important you try to develop the angles, try to develop the various tones that you've got in here to suggest where the light and the shade is on the rock. Okay, I'm creating edges. You notice there's no outlines and you'll notice some of those edges are quite sharp and dramatic and that will help to suggest a strong sunlight falling on the rocks. See the top of that rock now is very light in comparison with the areas below it. Now this area here you notice now I'm just shading in lightly there you see you see how that rock is standing out now from the shadow behind it. 
You see? So you're beginning to develop these elements and that's what makes the drawing work really well. It's all about looking for contrast of tone, contrast of shape, contrast of edges, sharp edges, soft edges. It's variety that makes your drawing look really, really interesting. And this is what you've got to try to develop in your drawing. You see here, I'm going over the edges here, pressing on quite sharply. Sometimes it's done quite roughly because it might be quite a rough piece of rock that you're drawing. Do you see the idea? Doing the same thing again with another rock in front. It's all about developing these ideas and seeing how you can build the structure. So you can see how this is going now. Remember, keep your pencil sharp. So if the pencil's getting soft, make sure you um, sharpen it. Make sure you're using the edge of the, uh, the pencil. You notice here, I'm just putting, suggesting now, darker tones. Now notice as I do that dark tone, you see how it makes those two rocks in front of it stand out. It's all about contrast. Putting little marks and little darker areas here and there, just little dots. All these, they could be the lichen growing on the rocks, it could be all that sort of thing. You see, sharp edges, soft edges, that's what it's all about. Those little delicate little pieces here, you can see how it works. Just a few little spots here and there. Don't be too delicate about it. I'm developing now the shadow on this rock. But to make all these rocks look as though they're actually sitting on something, like a, a beach or sand or whatever, then we need some horizontal shading. Notice now the horizontal shading in contrast with the shading I've been doing on the rocks. This helps to fit it to a surface, fit the rocks to a surface. You'll need to make sure that the shading that we've got around these rocks on the surface, on the flat surface, matches. So you'll see how this develops now. You see here I'm putting in some shading here. This is the shaded area of this particular rock. Okay, and it's now beginning to look as though this group of rocks are actually sitting on a sandy beach or something of that sort. You see how it's developing. So we'll need to just develop some of these. Just let your hand roll, let the pencil roll a little bit. Make sure these lines are not too straight, not too solid. You see here, I'm just darkening the tones here to fit it down nice and neatly. Right, I hope you've managed to follow the drawing and I hope you have produced your own great drawing. But remember, you don't need outlines around everything. Sometimes just shading will suffice and you can produce a really interesting effect. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned lots about using shading without outlines. Yes. If you have, then please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the little black bell as well so we can keep in contact. That would be wonderful. If you really would like to support the making of these videos, then please check out my Patreon channel where you'll find lots of interesting rewards in return for your patronage. That would be fantastic. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!